you know, you also sent me, um, you know, the comment of Canelo wanting to fight Bibble at 68. Um, I'm going to tell you uh, the reason why I sent you the, the text that I did on that. Now, as far as I'm concerned, if I'm Bibble, okay, I would look at Canelo coming and challenging me for my title. He literally did me a favor when he did that because I know he couldn't beat me at that weight. So what he did, he did me a favor. He got he got me a fight with him and that allowed the boxing world to really know how good my skills are. And because Canelo did that, I look at it as, okay, he, 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 he opened the door for a better future for me in this game. Now, yeah. if he want to fight me again and it be at 68, I would feel prompt to return him that favor. I'm going to return you the favor because you did me a big favor when you when you came up to fight me. So I'm going to give you this favor back because in my mind, you can't beat me anyway. And by doing that, he's going to get another good payday and out of it, possibly a trilogy. So to me, it's a, it's a no-lose situation for Bibble. He's going to be paid. But if he do that, I mean, at 68, that's going to be for all the marbles. Listen, just fighting Canelo, who is the cash cow, it really makes no difference because in my mind, I'm going to beat you anyway. I'm just saying. I'm, I, I'm thinking. I'm thinking, man. Ain't, ain't he gonna get all? He gonna get a? It's, it's, he gonna get all them belts, though, right? He 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 should. If that's the way. If that's the way they um. As long as his title is on the line, you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm hoping. So I ho I'm hoping it's gonna be for. I'm hoping that's gonna be because shoot, he could be undisputed at 68. Use all that. Yo, he might be playing chess because if he go down there and he gonna get undisputed at 68 and beat Canelo, then you know what I'm saying go up there. If he go back, if then he go because I don't like that. This is this is nothing. I don't like the going down and going back up. I kind of don't like it. You know what I'm saying because we got we got examples as to how that that don't do too well when you do that. But if you go down there to 68, snatch all of them straps, and then go up and fight Baturbiev. And snatch all of them straps. That means he gonna be holding down the highway of 68 and 75. Anybody can get it. You know, once again, I look at this situation as a win-win situation for Bibble. He can't go, to me, he can't go wrong because he's gonna get paid. And even if he loses, to Canelo, it still sets up a trilogy because he's got the first win. Yeah, you 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 definitely talked me down off the ledge. You know what I'm saying? I uh, you know, I mean, he might be. Uh, maybe it was a chess. That maybe this is a chess move. You know, maybe this mm -hmm. is a chess move. So, you definitely talked me down off the ledge on that one. Yeah. So I I don't I, I to me it's just a win win situation for him. Because who else can he fight that's gonna give him the, the, the payday that Canelo could give him? And especially going down to 68. Because going down to 68, that make the Can Canelo fans believe that, oh, my man's gonna win this one. He couldn't beat him at 75. That was just too big for him, but he'll beat him now. See, now this creates more of an enthusiasm in the fight being leveled out a little bit because I don't think none of us was really eager to see Canelo challenge Bibble again for his title 
because we already got a, a prelude to what that might look like. But if he drops down to 168, that seems to make uh, even the playing field, at least in the minds of the Canelo fans. So therefore, the enthusiasm can be built right back up again as if this is a brand new fight. As if they never met before because they meet in that 68. So, so, okay, let me ask you this. Does does a John Ryder prepare Canelo for Bivol at 68? That's that's one thing. The other thing is, um, is it too early to get your prediction on that fight with Bivol going to 68? Is it too early? Man, listen, I don't believe that Canelo could beat Bivol because of the type of style that Bivol has. And with his height, one thing, he may come down and wait, but he's not going to lose no height and reach. Ooh, bars. And, that, <laughs> and that's going to be that's going to be the deciding factor in this fight, because that, let's keep in mind, Bivol did not Canelo out, so the weight size wasn't the issue of him beating him down, because that's not what happened. He just outboxed him. He made it difficult for him. Canelo couldn't get off. And nothing at 168, in my viewpoint, would prevent this fight from being almost identical to what it was. Because the extra weight didn't allow Bibble to knock him out. True. You, you, hey, you preaching. <laughs> Yeah, so I think I think this this thing is a is a win win situation for Bibble. So you just spun and me around. You spun me around. You you good. You good. Mm -hmm. I, you, you you spun me around on it. Yeah, that's a now from my perspective. That's how I see it. So you know everybody has their uh, uh, opinion and have their reasoning behind the way they feel, but that's just the way I see this. Hey, maybe some people will agree with me, but then you're going to have some people that would say, well, I'm a champion at 175. If he want to meet me again, then he going to have to meet me. But I think Bill could use a little leverage to go in and get this money because I don't think 68 puts him at no, at, at no danger. I really don't. All right. Last question on this one. Does a loss to Canelo at 68 impact him at 75 to try to, you know, be undisputed, you know, at 75? Like, do do a loss? How, what does a loss look like for Bibble? I mean, is it are they going to say, oh, man, that was Canelo, man? Like, come on, it was Canelo. Are they going to say that? Or are they going to say the first win was a fluke? Or are they going to say trilogy? Well, one thing about Bibble... See, Bivol's people can always say that, well, we went down to 68 and that's not our best fighting weight. So what you saw there was, you know, some smoke and mirrors. But when he returns back to 175, because you got to realize his title won't be on the line. Yep. Because once you drop down and you fight under your weight class, then your belt is not online. So his belt will be right there waiting for him regardless of what happened in this fight. And then once he go back, he'll still be the champion. And then he can proclaim that even though I lost at one, uh, 168, that's not my fighting weight. It weakened me to go down there. You know, he can use that excuse. And a lot of people want to accept it. You know what I mean? But he's gonna say, well, I'm going right back. I'm the champion at 175. And guess what? Anybody who wants that championship gotta come and fight Bivol anyway. So therefore, it's not like Bivol is losing and then he's losing his ranking and then have to fight to get back to be champ because he's never gonna lose the title because the, t the title was not on the line. 
Right. Well, I mean, you know, I, I'm not, you know, it's no secret here with me. I mean, I, I unless Bivol don't cut the weight right, I, I don't think that, um, I don't think he's gonna lose either way. So I'm just saying, I didn't want to give, I didn't want him to give Canelo any advantages. But the way you put it, it's like I can't, you know, I have no, no further questions, Your Honor. You know what I'm saying on that okay. one? I, you, 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 you made your know, case dismissed <laughs> on that one.